Hello guys, I think we are live um, inside the group on my profile. Um, we're here trying to talk tonight about backlinksteo.com, which is having a lifetime deal with me. Joining me today is um, Abdul. He's the CEO and founder of backlinksteo.com. And so the launch is now, it's ongoing deal. And I wanted to uh, welcome him into the you know, to the show tonight, so we can go through and and see what what's going on here with this product, what it is, what it does, what it does, all that information. So, Abdul, welcome to the program. Hey, man, thank you so much for having me. You know, really excited. Excellent, excellent. So let's get going. And so, tell us what what what's uh, what's uh, Backlink SEO? What does it do? You know, simply put, uh, Backlink SEO helps you gain and monitor backlinks very very easily so right. if you know if you want to automate your backlink outreach you want to great grow your traffic um you want to make better relationships with other people and you want to make more sales right this is the tool you know to be looking at so if i'm somebody who's new to this whole you know ltd industry hasn't heard of uh of uh, L you know uh backlinks and has no mm -hmm. idea what it does for your business what exactly am I looking up? Like, why should I buy uh, this? Why should I invest in this tool? You know, um, backlinks have been one of the biggest um, ways for driving traffic to your site other than, you know, paid um, channels. So a lot of people look at, hey, you know, I want to rank in Google and I want to get all these, you know, uh, methods of gaining traffic. And backlinks is one of the ways that you can do that. Um, you can, you know, when you post like a guest post on somebody else's website, um, you know, Big companies like Visme and Canva have used this to gain multi millions, even billions of dollars in revenue just in just by using exactly this method. So this is a way to bring all of that hard work and simplify it and automate it and give it to the hands of the people. Okay, so if you break down, basically, uh, and you're saying it helps with SEO, so uh, it boosts your, you know, the the, um, the your website. I mean, your website on Google rank. Uh, Google ranking, you know, so um, you talk about Canva. How did Canva, how is that relevant to this, to this story? So, okay, so think of it this way. Um, uh, you know, I want to rephrase again and say, you know, backlinks alone are not gonna, going to boost your rank on SEO. This is one factor, right? But when talking about Canva, what is very interesting about our product and what Canva did in their strategy is they actually outreached out to partners, out to influencers, out to um, resource sites out to tools in the industries and uh, across industries and they did some outreach to them and they did very very specific outreach um, to gain guest post placements to gain um, backlinks on their sites um, and they they did this in a very strategic manner so they would personalize their emails they would set up sequences they would figure out what opportunities are good for them to reach out to for example if you make a template Look, for, in the case of Canva, if right. they make a template on um, car decals, you know, the, what, the stickers that go on the back of your cars, they, they, what they did is then they would find what are all the companies selling these products or what are all the companies that are writing about these products? Where are all the designers? They would f find opportunities and reach out to those places and say, hey, look, we help you design better decals. And, you know, they would write a great blog post, link, you know, tell them, hey, link back to us. We've linked to you. So this whole process that they did would take a lot of resources, a lot of money, a lot of time, and a lot of effort. Um, so what our tool allows you to do is allows you to do all of these things much, much more easily. Allows you to find those opportunities for either your clients or for yourself. Um, allows you to find, figure out the emails for those people. Allows you to set up those sequences. Allows you to say, hey, this is my blog post. Um, these are all the outreach, li outbound links. Um, who are those people that, you know, whose sites these are? Um, what, what, how can I personalize this email? It does all of that and brings it out to you. So you're using the same magic that Canva used to grow and you're using it in your business. Excellent. Excellent. So it's in a layman's language. It means it does, um, help with bringing traffic to your website. Is that, yeah. that's the ultimate goal and traffic means more eyes on your website than your product. And then from there you have sales and you know customers and recurring revenue and all that stuff. So that makes uh, a lot of sense. So um, is it okay if you go ahead and explain to us what are the uh, you know the, uh, the the 
like the, the golden hidden stuff on the software. Can we share the screen? Of and course, of course. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna move my focus this way, so you might see me looking this way. Yeah, but I am focused. So because my camera is here, so don't worry. Okay. Um, let me share my screen. Yeah. All right. So yeah, I see your screen really good. Awesome, perfect. So, um, you know, before I get into all the nitty gritty of it and show you the inside, you know, I, we broke it down into two main aspects. I would say that you want to look at is backlink campaigns. This is the whole Canva magic that I talked about, or other, you know, how all these other big companies are using this system, uh, the same process to gain traffic. Um, we call it backlink campaigns. And the second aspect to the software is backlink monitoring. Um, and backlink monitoring, once you get those links, you want to see, hey, do, are they still live? Um, you know, are they still working? And you know, am I still getting the benefit from them? So those are the two main aspects. Um, of course, there's a lot more to it. As you can see, backlink campaigns has cold email sending. We help you, you know, create access for your team and for your clients. And you know, you have all your project and domain data. But rather than me explain it, I think it's better to show you. Okay, perfect. Let's go through it. What does it awesome. do? So I'm already logged in here, but let me let me actually take this one out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask, add it again. So verifyb.com. Right? Yep. And saying, you know, all of a sudden you, you add your project and right away um, it asks, hey, can can we find backlinks for you with our backlink crawler? What you have to understand, this is currently in beta. We're still crawling the whole web. We're getting all this data. Um, so this is still going to be behind. It's going to help you get started, but it's not going to always show you everything, right? So you're going to have to put in your backlinks yourself. Um, but for the sake of this, let's see. Okay, it hooked up some backlinks. Now. If you want to get more in-depth insights into your into your website traffic, into your Google Search Console, um, things like that, you you want to sync um, these data points, right? So for this case, I am going to sync. Give me one second. Let's see. Verify B. Verify B. And what it's doing right now, it's connecting to your Google Analytics. It's pulling in data from there. It's connecting to your Google Search Console. It's pulling in data from there. And it's summarizing all this data in a way that it's easy for you to digest, right? You want to pick up key points. You want to figure out what are the greatest insights. You want to figure out what pages are driving traffic, where it should be driving traffic, and all that good stuff. Now, this screen is asking, hey, you, are there any more backlinks you want to add? And at this time, you could upload a whole list of backlinks if you wanted to. Um, so if you already know you did some outreach and you did some guest posting and you got some links and you know or you did some link exchange, this is the place to post them. You can also upload a CSV with them in a single column, and you know easily do that. Once you proceed, you know I can go skip. I'm skipping this because I'm not doing anything. Mm -hmm. um, it asks you, hey, would you like to start the crawling process? So yes, definitely, you'd like to start the crawling process. What happens is all of a sudden you see this crawler here right on the bottom. It is in real time right now, going through all of the backlinks. Right. And it's saying, are they alive? What's their domain data? What that means is, what is the domain authority? What is the page authority? What is the Moz rank? What is the citation flow? It gets all of this data from Moz and Majestic. And these are indicators of how good those links are. You know, um, That's the most simplistic term. I'm, I'm very, very simplifying it. But that it gives you a good idea of you know how good, good those links are. So mm -hmm. this process of of crawling will take some time because it's in real time. So, you know, it will take some time to pull this information. But at the same time, you can see your page views right up top, uh -huh. you know, how it's increasing. Of course, the month just started, so you see my one, it's down. But as the month goes on, you'll see this, you know, you can see a steady increase in traffic um, right away. And for this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start right from the bottom, right here, where it says search coverage, because this is still crawling. Uh -huh. I want to show you what the insights are, right? Right. So for my search coverage, all of a sudden I can see search terms. All my search terms, where is my traffic really coming from? I can see invalid email addresses. I'm getting, you know, 11,900 impressions for this one term. It's on second position. The CTR is 11. It's 1,300 clicks. So what does this tell me? This tells me that mm -hmm. I'm position two. 
12,000 people have seen this term. If I was position one, I probably would get this clicks rate was, was probably much be much higher, most likely. So are these, are these the keywords on your website? These are keywords for the traffic that's coming in. I pull, we pulled this from Google and Google is saying, hey, this is the keyword for my, for my website. A lot of my traffic is coming for this keyword, invalid email address. Mm -hmm. And um, th th there you go, 1,322 clicks came from just that one term. Now I can improve upon this. I can go look at what page it's coming from, right? And I find it's this page, how to fix an email address. Mm. So this is the, and we wrote this back in 2019. So this is still like, as you know, you would say killing it in traffic, right? It's gaining all this um, traffic right now. Uh, so look, this viewpoint helps you understand where your traffic is coming from. You look at, you know, you would go down and say, look at this one right here, ping email address. This is a very good example. Position five, impressions 3000, but only 234, 234 clicks. What does that tell you? It tells you maybe this page, we can make the title better meta description better. Uh -huh. We can make it enticing for people to click. So what is this page? I click on this and I open up, oh, how to ping an email address, right? Maybe people, when they land here, they're not getting the information right away. Right. So I can see from this one, uh, maybe I should add a list. I should add a list here. One, you know, step one, how to get it, how to get something. Step two, step three, rather than going into windows and this, you see? So this gives you a very good idea how to look at your content and improve it right away. So you can increase your traffic instantaneously almost just by looking at this data. Yeah, because you get some you know insights in the back end where you can see everything in one snapshot, you know, which, which keywords are attracting traffic, which ones you need to improve on. That makes a lot of sense. So now I see the value from there, the huge value there. Yeah. So of course, this is not the main, this is of course not the main aspect of this tool, but this is just a very simple add-on. Um, now the keyword aspect does the exact same thing, but here it gives you a view of which exact um, page it is. You know, so if you wanted to export this data out and look at all your pages and which pages are getting which keywords, this is a good viewpoint to do that. Landing pages, it's the opposite. Now from the page side, I can look at which page is giving me how many users, not just clicks, overall, how many users come to this page. So I can see, you know, if I want to add a CTA or if I want to, you know, add some call to action and do, do some type of sign up or something, I know which page to target just by looking at this data. You know? Excellent. Yeah. So yeah, does that track the keywords also? Oh no, it's not a week. It doesn't. No. So this, so keyword, so this is why this one is here. You no. can look at both of them, right? You can, if I come here and I say, um, send same email, right? Okay. Oh yeah. What, sorry. Let's go back. Send same email, right? So I would probably put send and see which comes. Send same email right here. You see, people are actually coming to this from a totally different um, link on my website. They're also coming from these key terms. So this is how I can look at which keywords are bringing traffic to that same page. Excellent. And what right. are landing pages for? Sorry? Yeah, what is that? Oh, that's what we looked at earlier. Yeah. So you, you, you can go back and forth and mm -hmm. you can get this these insights right away. Okay. All right. So uh, what top pages, what does it tell us? Top pages tells me what are the top pages on my website? Where are all the referring domains coming from? Ah, so okay. so I can look at it and say, oh, Verify B has six re referring domains. These are all the backlinks. This is all the domain authority of the links, all the page authority, all the anchor tags. You know, you can visit those pages and see which page. Sometimes you want to rank a page, like an inner page, maybe for your funnel to get more sales or you know, you want to rank something, but you realize, you know, maybe you need more, you need more links. You need more referring, even internal links in uh, internal links from within your website are very powerful to rank, you know? Um, so, but this will help you see how many pages are actually come, you know, referring to your website externally. We are going to add an internal system as well, just to this. So you'll be able to see, get a very, very in-depth profile. Excellent. Excellent. So yeah. here's the question. If somebody wanted now to compete with Verify B, and since they have this uh, specific links that are their top, I can go and reach out to these people, the same the people that are giving you the links and ask mm -hmm. them for that link. Yeah. So how does so you can use my tool? You can yeah. use this tool right now. Okay. To reach out to them. All right. Yeah. So look, exactly. You could take, you could copy this. Like this is why we have export. You can export this out. Right. And you could copy those links. You can open up our campaigns. You know, we're jumping ahead, but we could open up yeah. a campaign. 
We could create new campaign. We could click skyscraper technique and upload. It says uh, URLs, paste all the URLs here and reach out. Excellent. And how do you, how do you reach out? I, do, you, do you get like, does it give you the emails for these websites also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's multiple different types of reach out, right? Um, let me give you an example for, let's, let's take a post. I'm going to use backlink SEO here. Let's take a post that has outbound links. Um, so I'm going to show you, show you two different types. Um, let's say, let, let's go to my uh, blog. Um, I like to use this post with finance because I know we've done some. So it has outbound links on right. it already. You know, I, we outbound link here. So let's go try this one. We're going to use this campaign type. This is for building relationships. You want to start communicating. So mm -hmm. just say um, you want to build relationship with people that you've written about in your blog post. Mm -hmm. We would enter our um, URL in. And what it's going to do is going to go to that blog post that you've written. And it's going to go and try to find what are all the outbound links, right? Um, so it pulls in all this information. It pulls in the title of the post, the title of the website, the keywords, who wrote it, the category we posted in, and boom, right here, all the outbound links. You see? Yeah. These are all the outbound links on the website, on the on the blog post. Mm -hmm. And now you're saying, hey, get contacts. So you can use Hunter, you can use Snowvio, or you can use one more lead. Mm -hmm. The difference here is these two are paid. This is absolutely free. Oh. It's gonna be included. It's gonna keep on getting better and better. Mm -hmm. And so you know, for full disclaimer's sake, you know, you have Hunter, which is paid. You're going to keep on having to pay them. Um, they have 250 million emails. I don't know how many Snowvio has. One more lead currently has 30 to 40 million. Every single day we add half a million, you know, half a million emails to 500,000, half a million every day. We're improving. So this is Our, absolutely so free. One more lead is from uh, your company? Yeah, one more lead is also a product. Yes. Oh, excellent. So this comes as part of the uh, package. It's, it's yeah. not as... So paid separately for uh, yeah. We use so okay. This is built in, so you don't have to have a one more lead account. You don't have to do nothing. It's automatically built in for you, free. Oh, that's amazing. So then that means people are getting actually two softwares in one. Yes, they're getting two. They might actually be getting three. You never know. That's, okay. Uh, okay. More coming. You know. Excellent. So, um, you know, you'd go and find, and what it will do is it'll find these email addresses. So, um, in this case, you know, it's found two, but. Right. Once you once you go in, once you have those email addresses, what you can do is you can, you know, of course, if you know the name is not correct, yeah. um, you can go and put in the correct name, you know. Um, right. I'm going to put in Moali as the name. Right. So you could do that. You can change this up. Um, and then here's the coolest part. Yeah. We have built-in sequences built for you. You can create your own sequence or use one of ours. And if you create, if you use one of our sequences, we have all these sequences built. So if I want to build a relationship and I want to share and do a backlink, boom, it shows me this sequence. First email, wait three days. Second email, wait three days. But, you know, maybe I don't want to wait three days. All maybe right. I want to edit this up. I want to make it – mine's different, right? So maybe I want to wait, you know, just maybe one week. I want it to be original. I want it to be more personal. I don't want to seem like spam, you know. I can do that, you know, and I can go and save this sequence i can come back and you know it once i update it here the overall this will update mm -hmm. i can then go to my email preview and say okay and it says hey mo ali right there the email. <laughs> it does say hey mo ali yes yeah <laughs> automatically you will change the name right it will take your it will take your template so look we have three different emails you see we have three different emails and you can view them personalize them and look at this. This it did it in in absolutely seconds, right? This right. is imagine a VA going through and doing this. Yeah, that's a lot of time for sure. A lot of time, a yeah. lot of time, and this was seconds. So you set up an email sequence already built for you. You can of course edit this and go and say, okay, how do you know Molly? Hey man, I already hey, I already know you from our amazing, you know, lives we do. Uh -huh. Hey, something to connect. You know, Edited. exactly. You know, mm -hmm. and you know, you can look at you can look at these and say, okay, this looks good, perfect. Now what, right? You ask Abdul. So okay, now what? This is where it gets amazing. Mm -hmm. People worry about deliverability. They worry about sending limits. They worry about is the whole account only one Google or one email that I can send from? Is it like Lemless? Is it limited? No, absolutely not. Unlimited sending. Connect. You can connect to your account as many campaigns you have. You can connect as many SMTP you want. 
You can connect with Google. You can connect with your own SMTP, custom. You can connect with SendGrid. This is, covers the whole spectrum. Right. Absolutely. So you can you sign in with, yeah. Sign in with your Google. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want to personally sign in with mine because it's all going to show up live with my email addresses and stuff. So I don't want to do that at the moment. But I want to show you that you know you can see, schedule something. You can stop it and see. So what does that mean? That means if I send this email right. and somebody opens it, I, they don't send. They don't see the next one, so it's not spam, you know. So it doesn't. It looks very, very, very personalized and genuine. I can schedule this in time. Mm -hmm. Once I do that, once I'm ready, I save for launch, and it's ready to go. So now the question is, what happens at that point? You know, what happens at lunch? Let's look at this one. Um, you get this nice little page of analytics. Mm -hmm. So it will show you how many were sent, how many were opened. How many were clicked? How many are bounced? How many people opted out? Um, you know, this I set up for an example. So for each email, you'll see what action every single person on your list did. Mm -hmm. So you will be able to see, okay, did James actually open the email, but he didn't click? Maybe he needs another reminder. Right. So I can add him to another sequence, put him through, edit this, edit this campaign, change the sequence, go back and initiate. And then when I do that, I can look at, do I only need to send to all or one? I can choose who do I want to send to. Excellent. So, so I was actually going to ask uh, some step in the middle. If, um, because you say that this is coming from one more lead. Um, is, there, is there like a, a verification system connected to this uh, validation for the emails? Yeah. So what happens is as soon as, um, at the moment, what we're doing is, is twofold, right? Um, right. We are verifying the validity mm -hmm. of the emails before sending through Verify B. Okay, so, so, so not yet, but hasn't been done yet, right? Is hasn't that been implemented, but we're already testing to have that gun. That's why we said three in one. You're you're yeah, going to be getting three entries in one without wow. realizing. Yeah, that's going to be very powerful because if the emails, uh, you know, uh, verified and validated, it means then it's, it's uh, direct delivery. Nothing is going to stop it, right? No bounces. Exactly, nothing. exactly. Excellent. Okay, well, go ahead. Yeah. I, just showed you, I just showed you one type, right? I showed you um, if I have a blog post, what happens? And what if somebody doesn't have a blog post? Somebody says, Abdul, I don't write blog posts. I only have a product. I want to gain traffic. Okay. Show you us know? that. What do you do? So maybe maybe he has a um, tool or he wants to get reviewed, you know? I, I, let's look at let's look at um tools maybe or tool, let's look at resources even um let's say he has a fitness company okay um i don't know let's uh i'm not sure of a fitness company name <laughs> right but i'm just gonna let's say uh, let's use our example for right now let's use our um let's imagine that our site was a fitness company mm -hmm. here's where it gets amazing real time you can actually put in keywords and say fitness and it will find resources for you. It will find opportunities right away. That's amazing. So you can say seven resources. Oh, I can reach out to this people. They wrote about seven different resources. I can reach out to this workout. Maybe maybe you made an infographic about this very nice workout, um, you know, and you can reach out to them and say, hey, could you include my infographic? And your email will say that, right? You know, you can say, oh, 50, there you go, 50 free, 50, 50 best free workout resources. Uh -huh. Maybe... Look, this was written in 2015, right? You could probably go in and say, hey, this is old content. You know, you haven't updated this. I have a new list of resources. I have a new list. Could you update with mine? Right. This is a fantastic way to gain traffic, you know? And in real time, you can go through and add all of these. So, you know, there's a select all, for example. And I would say select all, the, maybe 20 of these. You can go and analyze these links. The system will go and pull all these links out for you, Right. And then, then you can go again, do the same process, get contacts and see, you know, you see here, here's one thing. You could probably use Hunter in this case to get more, go, you know, get more information. Right, right. But the process then is exactly the same. And you do that. Um, imagine s setting up 25 of these campaigns, right? For mm -hmm. reviews, for, um, let's look at here. You could do for resources, for tools, for reviews, for offering your expertise in the area. So say you had, you had a client who was a physician. And he won, or a dentist. He wanted to um, show their expertise to other, you know, in, in other industry uh, magazines, papers, 
um, you know, to journalists, to anybody that writes about dentistry. Um, they, you could click this type and find those opportunities in real time, have your client reach out to them. What the coolest part about that is, is if you set this up for yourself or your client, what you can do is you can come right over here and go to manage team, right? And you could say, my client is Molly. I can give you an email address, right? Oops, sorry. I'm kidding. <laughs> Clicked. So I give you an email address, give you a password, and then say, you know, for Mo Ali, I only want him access to rank today, and I can select which campaign to give you access to. So if it's your campaign is this mentioned one, I click save, and when you log in, that's all you see. You only see your one website, and you see your campaign. You can see your analytics. You can see everything running for you. So, for example, we sell um, a 279 plan for, you know, a business plan or an agency plan, $499, you know, and you could easily sell this type of service for $200 a month. Easy, very, very, very easy. And you have, you have a slot for, I think, is it 60, 60? You know, I, I want to be, I want to be hundred sure because we, we change this to a lot, 60 team members. So you can multiply that, you know, uh, Even if you sold it for a hundred dollars. A month because this is going to be automated remember that you know so um if you had 25 of them and you had a hundred dollars you say a hundred dollars a week four hundred dollars a month you know you make ten thousand dollars almost right here and if you if you go the least amount you make two thousand five hundred right a month and i think that's where the value pop comes in actually yeah i see i see people actually reaching out to me in all these cold emails every day saying that they'll give me a domain, no, backlink in a, some some website for like $100, just one backlink. And so uh, that, that makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of uh, value in there. And so how many, let, let's look at anything else we haven't covered? We talk about- Yeah, I think there's a lot that we haven't covered, honestly. Okay, okay let's go. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so that, let's come back to our view. Uh, we noticed that the call is finished, right? Yeah. And in our view, we can see you know, in one glance, we can see something really cool like uptime. Mm -hmm. Also included absolutely free. It will give you a notification if your website goes down. Oh, so hold on. So now that's an uptime thing. That means um, you don't even need those uh, uptime softwares out there. Yeah. To notify if your website's down or not. This is real time. Track. This is real time. Every every few seconds it will test. It will tell you right away how many seconds ago it tests and it, it will test again and again. And do you get an email? How do you, how do you get notified? You'll get an email if your website is down. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, in, in um, the next one month, our, um, we're going to be increasing out a lot of functionality that you see today. We're going to add more to it depending on you know the feedback we get. And, and if this is something that people want more flexibility for, they want to add their own websites a lot more, this is something we will add, you know, um, definitely. Right. So you'll have more control. Hey, I want to get an SMS from it. I want to, you know, when my website's down, I want SMS because you might be using this for your client websites. You want to know right away. So this is definitely, we'll be adding that, you know? So um, there you go. I came back to my project and told me how many backlinks, you know, it looked at. And now I can come over here and say, oh, okay, look, this is my backlink. This is all my active links. In real time, it told me I have two active links. I have two anchors, the domain authority, page authority, my rank, you know? Maybe I could say, you know, I got this. I want to remember where I got this link from. I can add a note. Moali got me this link. Oh, right. So now it changed color, right? So what happens if three weeks later I come here and I say, ooh, lost links is one. And this is the lost link, right? It will say zero here for active links. So I will go back to the notes and say, hmm, who did I get this from? Why is it lost? Mm -hmm. uh, I need to contact Mo Ali. He, you know, <laughs> I got a link from him. The, the, the original link or the original link is going to be there? That link, yeah. That. Yeah, the original link is going to be there still. So this link will still be here. Yeah. In the lost links panel, you'll see what's what's lost. Okay. So which website is no longer available. Let me see if I can pull up another example where links are lost. So we have AppSumo here. Yeah. It lost 10. Yeah. So this gives you where did AppSumo just lose links from? Let's see. There you go. These guys, ah, right, um, and you can. This gives you more, much more insight. Where do they get do follow links? What are AppSumo's do follow links? There you go. All the one thousand referring domains. These are all of that all the way back from 2011, 2012. You know, so this they got brand new right now. You see how it's um, it is, it's green. Yeah, there you go. This is brand new. 
so it will pick it will pick this up all the links that it finds new again they might be that they they written it a long time ago but as the system finds them and recall crawls them it will highlight them for you which ones are no follow there you go absolutely we're looking at absumo's profile i think everybody knows absumo yeah so you'll see entrepreneur they although they have an article it's not a do follow link it's a no follow link yeah. I guess they had they started some conversations in Warrior Form or somebody in Warrior Form mentioned them, you know. So this is a good way to see you know, they don't have they don't have any sponsor tag links, but they have do follow. They have what is their anchor profile? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you're curious about these things. Uh, look, free printable July calendar, April. Yeah, they used to have. <laughs> I remember. You remember this, right? So this yeah. gives you a very good much insight in where they try to get their traffic from, right? What type yeah. of anchors do they try to build? And you can go to this and see, okay, how many backlinks from Forbes Inc. gives them four backlinks. What are the links? There what? you go. Mm. You know, the more I think the more you drill down into this, the more you'll see there's a lot more to it than you know meets the eye. Definitely. That's great. Um, in analytics, you know, you'll see active link changes, backlink, how many do follow changes. So, you know, we saw a little bit of drop recently. So you'll see all these things, but remember. You you know you'd have to actively bring in your backlinks. You know, if for a site like this, I would click new links. I would put in my links that I just got. If I did all these outreach opportunities and I got ten links, I would right. paste them in here, and the system will recall them. You know, so my insights are up to date all the time. Definitely. Excellent, excellent. And so, um, anything else we haven't covered? Everything looks, uh, I think, covered in that sense, right? Yeah, in this sense, um, yes. What's the main data? I don't see what I don't think we could click on that. Did we go there? Domain. Uh, oh, domain data. Yeah, uh, this is an interesting one. Let Let's use. Uh, let me see if we can use AppSumo for this example. All right. Okay. So the referring domains. Where where what referring domains they're getting this traffic from, right? Mm -hmm. um, and what is the breakdown of these of these domains at times? So, in this case, you know, we we don't see any spam. If, if one domain type there was um, Gizmodo had 30,000 links coming from it, there would be a problem. <laughs> you know, if, if Gizmodo was a spam website, it would be a problem. So this is a good way for you to see from my referring domains, which domains are coming to me. If there's too many links coming from them, uh -huh. it's a problem. Maybe this site isn't legit, you know, legitimate. I have to look into it. So this is a good way for you to do that, this, um, this uh, view. So what happens if somebody decides to put 1,000 links of your website on their own website? What happens to you? How can you stop that? Just general knowledge for everybody. Yeah, I mean, it depends. If you if you um, don't want it to you know, impact you in, in certain... Google has gotten very, very smart, but you could still use disavow. You know, you could still disavow that, those mm -hmm. links um, at any given time. So uh -huh. here's the, you know, it's good that you brought that up because this is one thing that we're adding, mm -hmm. right? You if Say you didn't like these links, you could click on them. Right. Oh, look at this. Google disavow download. Right. Oh, so then you submit that to Google? Yeah. So you can click on this and download the disavow uh, uh, right here. How Could it not be really cool if you had one way to just click and submit that to Google right from there? Yeah. But, you know, I'm, I'm in, I have one belief about access, and right. data access and security and things like that. So the more I believe our tool has less access to your stuff, the better. Okay. You know, so yeah. some, some things we, let's... We should leave to manual, um, uh, but in this case, we made it as easy as possible. Right, you just download it and then upload that automatically. So this is really cool. That's a cool feature. Glad that I brought that question up. Yeah. Okay. And you know, at the same time, you see this export button right now. You can you can export all these links. the The idea here is you'll be able to export a nice, um, a brandable report with your own branding. So this is on the roadmap. This is coming up. You'll be able to click export. Have you know. I think we should get into the roadmap as well to to show and so yes. yeah. see the roadmap. Yeah, you know, I mean, just for an overview, you can see you know your credits, your what campaigns, how many team members you've used, um, your business details. We have an API. You have everybody has access to the API, um, and this is will be you know as our backlink database grows, you're going to be able to pull those backlinks to display. Uh, if you had some charting tools or if you had some graph tools, you can use our API to pull those backlinks and pull this metric data that you have. You can manage your teams. You know, if you have an affiliate center, you can put in your business details. You can see your invoices, a help center um, to see all our help articles. Mm -hmm. um, so the basic, you know, stuff there. For campaigns, we're going to be adding a lot more campaign types. 
one thing that you might have thought of is if you're if you're using Hunter Credits or Snowvio or even one more lead to get all these contacts, we actually save all of the contacts for you. If you use them in your campaigns, they're all saved here. Ah, so that's so, what the contacts are for. Yeah. So now you can see Market Mail Sprout, Mark Mail Sprout, Sprout Social, Diamond Broker. Right away, I can figure out Senior Project Manager. There you go. Is there a phone number on the site? <laughs> Yeah, this is usually the company number found in public data. Oh, it's yeah. not going to be somebody's personal yeah, information. Cell phone number. As yeah. A <laughs> Please, yeah, don't. This is we don't want our tool to be used for anything crazy like that. But yeah, this is publicly ac accessible data, guys. So, so I mean, if you have any questions while we uh, ask, you know, Abdul, all the uh, all the different questions I'm asking. If you have any questions, please ask. I'm going to go through them and. We'll, as we continue through the uh, process. So all the questions I think all the comments will come to us here. So let me see, I think I may have some for you. Here we go. Oh, so Muhammad Ali now believes in the team behind Verify B. <laughs> Andrew, Andrew, Neil, Andrew Neil is giving me there. <laughs> okay. Yeah, welcome true to that, huh, Muhammad? <laughs> Jody is saying, I think I wore him down a few months ago. You can't ignore the dedication and energy Abdul has sent the excitement about these products and their development, wonderful founders. Thank so you. Jordan, yeah, Jody is saying that. This looks really, really good. Yes, Rose is saying that. Wait, you have to manually import your backlinks? Very you, can, good question. you have to, right? You can do that, right? Yeah, very good question. So yes, at the moment, yes, right? So if you noticed our, our the beta version of our crawler, we have 250 billion links right now. Moz right. maybe has one or two trillion, Ahrefs way more than that. So we are growing. And this is our, this is where the starting is. So we're starting at this point. We are growing our backlink database, crawling the web, and our goal is to get to that point, right? So we're, we're in the ramp up phase right now. We're in the ramp up phase. Once we ramp up, and then we're gonna have to scale up, scale up and crawling, scale up in the amount of time we do to crawling. So there is some time lag, and in that time lag period, you're gonna have to manually import those. But here's the benefit of it, right? You're investing now in a point where there is an LTD. Because as soon as we start even getting 30% of that crawled, right. you better believe me, you won't probably, you will not see a deal on this um, because of the cost that's associated with this, you know? So, yeah. um, so first of all, thank you all for uh, believing in us at this point in time, definitely. But uh, the goal is to get to a point where you have very, very good insights on your backlink data. Um, but, you, you know, I have to be honest, it's not going to, it's not an overnight project. It's not even a, 2020 project it's probably 2021 and you know even early 22 2022 so i'm going to be very straightforward about that but you got to understand that's just the that's just one small aspect what is available today really really i believe is so powerful in the sense of campaigns monitoring your current backlink profiles and it's ready to make you your business grow right that's how i see it we're already using this for you we've used this for verify b essentially this is how our backlink profile has grown. So and that looks we use this for you know it's the same technique, you know, for all our products to grow. Um, you know, so that's something to really, really think about. Um, and let me see if we can start going over probably our roadmap and if there's any other questions. Yeah, if there's any questions, guys, ask. It's coming straight to us here. We see them all your questions. We're live across at least six, seven different channels. So. On, on the groups as well as on even YouTube, I guess, uh, on LinkedIn. So I'm doing a distribution here of uh, everything through uh, uh, real-time distribution of the live on uh, reststream.io. So <laughs> Joseph, I love you, man. I got to say. Jo yeah, Joseph is saying what? My uh, heart. Oh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Yeah. Shout out to you, brother. You've always supported me, man, no matter what. <laughs> yeah, sub account. That's the that's the uh the next question that's coming up. Uh, yeah, so sub accounts. Bruce Craft is asking. That's on the dashboard right there. Sub yeah. accounts. So basically what this is is is, is essentially sub accounts in a different version, right? So mm -hmm. it's it's for your team members, you can go in and add their details and give all permissions, permissions just for one site, a permission to add a website. Uh if you do if you do all let's say all, you've kind of essentially created them a sub account with your all your permissions. That's that's the basically inherent idea. So if you have a VA that you want them to manage all your clients, this is the way to do it. If you know that, hey, you know, I don't want them to touch 
three of my clients. I want them only to touch AppSumo and Rank today. I don't want to give them permission for this. I want them to only do this. You can do that too. If you want to say, hey, I want to give them access to a campaign as well, maybe I give them access to, you know, so you have full control over how you set up every single individual's account uh, and get, send them those details. And you'll be able to, you know, w once you set them up, you'll be able to uh, edit those permissions um, at any given time. And our uh, agency plan is, comes with 60. You know, you're getting you're getting really a lot of the team members and accounts here. So that's more like the sub account, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so it becomes client for a slash team. Okay, so it's asking here, what's the timeline for white label items? I don't know. What the yeah, so the white label items is are, are for these two. So I want to give, I guess, um, uh, an exact breakdown, right, of where these come. So mm -hmm. for for the backlink reporting to become white label, we have to do one thing. First, we have to, if you look here, so currently it's it's a Excel export, right? The, the current goal right now is we're going to make this into a nice uh, graphical interface based export in a PDF. So, so, so that's going to be the first delivery to you as the end user. As right. soon as we do that, um, we're looking at around two or three sprint cycles for us, which is two, two weeks each. So around, you know, I, I don't, uh, I'm looking at maybe anywhere from three weeks to four weeks. I don't want to promise anything too early, but we can deliver this way earlier than that. Excellent. So, you know, definitely way earlier than that. But when I want to, I don't want to, you know, uh, promise too early something um, because you never know. Sometimes we have to reprioritize. But as soon as this is done, you'll be able to then, you know, easily change your branding, change your brand colors, add your logo um, into that. That's one aspect. The same is going to, so this is for backlinks. We are going to introduce a tool for on page SEO, on page SEO, right? So you'll be able to do an audit. And for agencies, that's what this is. This is a white label audit report. So it's all, again, two steps. We have to build the audit first. And then once the audit report is built, all, the white label will come right after that, probably just a few days. Um, and majority of these type of things, you know, I, I want to say end of Q3, start of Q4, mid of Q4, but we still, we usually go blaze through features really, really fast. I think a lot of people know that, but I want to still be safe just in case priorities change, you know. Um, but I will always, you know, you can always contact us on chat, our, all our teams are usually updated on what's included on our sprint cycles, which means our development cycles. So every two weeks, um, they know exactly what is included. So they'll be able to answer those questions for you. Excellent. So in terms of the pricing, do you want to go down a little bit so we can see? Okay. So. Oh, this is monthly pricing. Let me so, get I was, was going to say is that the, the LTD is $10. That would be really cool. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. So the first one is solo. The price mm -hmm. is. $59 lifetime. What's included there? 1,000? Yeah, so 1,000 monitored backlinks. That means every single month, you can actually add 1,000 more links. So if you keep the same, like keep your links and you say, Abdul, next month, you know, right now uh, in August, I'm going to add 1,000 links. But in September, I want to add another 1,000 links. Can I do that? Of course you can. Do I keep my previous links? Yes, you do. Do, do you keep crawling those links? Of course we do. So right. essentially, this is a compounded investment. What's, all, all these what's the domain enrichment credit? Domain enrichment is, is what you saw with domain authority, page authority, Moz rank. Your one credit equals all of those parameters. We give you all the data for your one link. For each link, we use one credit to pull this data. Oh, okay. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent. And when you say all integrations, what what integrations do you have? Yeah. So currently, um, if you notice, you know, for our campaigns, we have three different integrations. Any type of integration that we add, we're going to add, you know, any leads or we're going to add any um, like Ahrefs, MRush, those integrations that if you have accounts, there's never going to be any cost to anything that doesn't cost us any money. So it's just right. straight up forward right there. Is the API access ready? I'm sorry? API access, is that coming later or is that ready? So API access is currently ready already. Um, but as you notice, because of, it's going to only pull from your project. So if you set up a project for you, so if I've set up my project, um, which is like Verify B, yeah. the API will pull this data. It's used for, for example, like say you had Google Studio or you had another reporting tool. Um, what you could do is you could use the API and you could um, basically pull in all this reporting and give a nice report if you wanted to. Or if you wanted, if you had a client portal already set up, already, you know, and you wanted a maybe small module where we're going to pull this data and just display it to your clients. If you had a custom dashboard for them, like you're a big agency, you can use the API to pull this data and show it in your current dashboard. 
This is now coming to the question. So why do API when you can even white label client login portal and people can do it from there? Do you have that in the roadmap? Is, do you have anything planned for that? So white label, white label uh, client portal? No, yeah. this is not this is not included. No. Okay. And I, I don't think and I'm going to be very honest with you. Again, this is the same thing that we, uh, I guess, you know, um, thought of when we did verify B2. The same question kind of is asked. Um, we are very, very, very focused on our branding and what we have to offer. So I understand the needs of white label. That's why we have white label reports. That's why we have, you know, white label on, you know, um, what do you call um, reporting for uh, SEO audits that we will come up with. Um, and anything in those reporting type senses, those will be white label, definitely for sure. So you have like a lead generation form. If you're an agency account holder, you'll you'll be able to white label those. You know, there'll be no branding. All the all the emails that go out, there's no branding. So in that sense, yes. Access wise, you'll always be seeing our backlink SEO branding when you're logging in, or if your client is logging in. So the question somebody may have is, if somebody comes on to like a client login comes to your website, my client comes to your website, wants to log in, sees that whatever I'm doing, everything I'm doing is on your website. So why would they pay me when they can easily go to your monthly pricing? Sure. Um, you know, it's very easy to say that, you know, hey, somebody's going to go to the monthly pricing. A lot of people will buy something and never use it or buy and not know how to use it. What you actually offer is strategic advice to your clients. If you were in the business of just offering plans, you would not be in business. <laughs> it's the fact that you provide strategic advice and counsel to your clients is why they hire you. They can buy a plan from anybody. They don't need you, but they, they come to you because you are the expert. So they're not really coming to my page and looking at the plan because they're saying, you know, we're hands off. They want to be hands off. They want to give it to you. They want to say, you help me do it. If you tell them log in here, they'll put in their login, they'll log in there. They'll say, this is where to get the report. That's where they go. You are their expert. Yeah, and I was going to say that since we are getting this agency license for lifetime deal, we can offer this even a lot cheaper than you're offering on your website <laughs> also, right? <laughs> In case that happened. <laughs> hey, it's, uh, to honestly, look, you know you know those things that come up, there's like little petty things that come up where it's like email changes and selling. And the, dude, the, we're, we're open to all of this. We, the, fa the idea of this is to help your business in any possible way, any way. Yeah. So... You know, after point of sale, you come to us and say, Abdul, you know, we I need this help with this X, Y, and Z. We're always here to help you, no problem. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, Justin asked a very long question, a little bit on for the screen, but sure. let me read it. First of all, thanks for this LTD. Do you have plans to pivot or adapt to changes in the industry? That's when Google changes their algorithms that may impact the effectiveness results of your products. So, yeah, are you are you doing the updates? Are you gonna keep this up? With Absolutely. Absolutely. So this is not just is not just um, looking at it for today and tomorrow. If things change, we you know we're like, oh no, now it doesn't work. No, absolutely not. We actually are using this. So that's the same idea. We are always going to be adapting, at, you know, as time goes on. And you know, Google changes productly all the time. You'll you'll see a lot of things happening. What we know still today is this still works. Backlinks still work. Um, the the reason is not just for the fact of ranking, right? People confuse the fact and saying, hey. Backlinks for ranking, we're not saying that. We're saying for exposure. So in that case, um, you know, building relationships, um, we're, we're going to be adding earned media sections in here. You know, we know that those things work and those things is where everything is pivoting to. Um, and we're going to be keeping up with that. So if there's content-based update changes that happen or if certain type of anchors or certain type of, you know, rules on and algorithmic changes happen, we're going to be keeping up, to, up to date. Excellent, excellent. Another question coming up here from Rose. Rose is asking the question, the 10 outreach campaign limit, is this live campaign is running at one time? That is correct, yes. So I, let's, let me run down the scenario. Say you buy um, the business plan. Um, um, you know, I should know these by memory, but hypothetically, let's say you buy the business plan, you have um, 10 outreach campaigns like you mentioned, and you can run 10 at a time. So let's say week number one. You start running 10 campaigns and after the end of the week, 10 campaigns are, you know, campaigns are finished. You can go and stop them and run 10 more campaigns the next week and 10 more and 10 more. So essentially in a month, you've ran 40 campaigns. So the limit is how many total, like you just said, Rose, how many total campaigns are running at any given time? 
Okay. And uh, does that mean if when you stop, so stop, it means you don't delete, you just stop it, right? Is that what okay. Okay. okay, perfect. Which means I could run 10 campaigns and then another 10 campaigns depending. Okay. That, that makes a uh, very, that makes a lot of sense. Excellent. So let's go back to the, the, the LTD pricing one more time. I sure. have questions right there. So um, everything looks clear. The outreach campaign is starts from the startup plan, which is one hundred and forty nine dollars, right? So everything looks really clear here. Um, the agent's license is four ninety nine, fifteen thousand backlinks, fifty domains. Um, so fifty domains. Does that mean if I wanted to do a like a client, if I'm running, um, let's say business on building backlinks for people, I can have up to fifty clients. Does that mean? Yeah. Or- Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know what the cool part is, is because right now, because it's an LTD, mm-hmm. uh, the only plan that can be stacked is the agency one. So, okay. So right. Like, you know, if you wanted to actually have more than this, you could okay. stack four agency plans if you wanted to, it would take some time on our end to set that up for you, but our team would do that. So if you said, you know, Abdul, I want 200 of them and I wanted 60,000 and I wanted all these limits to be quadrupled, we could do that for you. Okay, another question coming from Justin is saying, can we limit the number of outreach, outreach campaigns per sub-account for clients? So That's if- a very good question. At the moment, no, but I can have this implemented within the sprint cycle. So in two weeks, I can have this implemented for you. Excellent. Maybe you probably want to take that note, <laughs> right? I will do that right now, yeah. To I'm going gonna, gonna to pick up my phone so nobody kill me <laughs> while I'm looking down. But yes, I'll note this down, you know. Okay, so uh, somebody's asking, so Rose is asking another question. Can I buy one plan and then upgrade later within the deal period? So if you're running this for a month, uh, if I buy the solo and then I decide to upgrade to the uh, startup plan or yeah. to the agency plan, can I do that? Key thing that Rose said was within the deal period, yes. If it's within the deal period, absolutely yes. As soon as it goes outside of the deal period, I'm gonna be, I'm going to have to you know, say no. Okay, so question for you is that what's your upgrade path? Like if, for example, people who, are, who buy the agency and down the road they want to, uh, any any special discounts or anything for them if they want to, if they love the tool, everything's working out, they're making money and they yeah. want to get more, you know, agency licenses or whatever down the road. Any so, upgrade, any plans for that? Yeah, so here's what I can, here's what I can promise, right? And, you know, because I don't want to come to promise something that's not sustainable for us these pricing that you see will most likely increase over time. So LTD users will be locked into this pricing. So if, oh. if, if tomorrow solo changes to 19, startup changes to 49, business to 79, and agency to 149, you will always have this pricing, locked into lower pricing at all times. So $100, um, almost $100 a month for agency, yeah. that's $1,200 a year. Correct. Um, rather than getting it now for 499, Yes, that's what they have to be. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Sometimes, you know, um, if you have an agency and you feel like you uh, want to upgrade, that that's good to know. At least you're not going to change the current pricing for anybody, right? Yeah. So that, that's good yeah. to know. What so if, you, here's have, another thing. So it goes the other way too. If, yeah. if things go, if things, you know, whatever the lowest pricing is possible to give LTD users, I, we will do that. Okay. It will always be the lowest pricing. So if we have a deal running that, you know, there's a obscure code running around on the internet somewhere for 30% off, we will honor all that for LTD users without you even having to ask us. We'll tell you, oh, by the way, this is the lowest, you know, if solo tomorrow is selling for seven, we'll give you seven. We'll not give you 10. Just, you know, just to be clear about that. Excellent. Excellent. Any more questions, guys? Whatever questions you have ask. And um, so I think the LTD pricing and um, Again, if you want to switch that to the screen, and the LTD is not here now. This is the, the monthly. I oh, monthly. the monthly. Sorry. Yeah, let me go back to the LTD pricing. Mm-hmm. Yep, and then we can probably look at the roadmap as well. You know, if we yes. Do that. Yes. So everything looks clear to me here in terms of uh, explanations of what is going on, all that stuff. We also have an FAQ just in case. You know, what are domain enrichment credits? What are monitored links? What is the access? What is an outreach? Do you provide an API? You know, common questions. Can I get a refund? Absolutely. 30 day, no questions asked. You know, we'll do it within minutes if we're online right away. So don't worry about any of that. Um, you know, can I stack? Yes, only the agency plan can be stacked. Mm-hmm. So, some common questions, you know, that you'd have. Perfect. Perfect. So that's good. That's uh, 
clear explanation on terms of uh, what's included in the deal, all that stuff. So um, the last thing I wanted to ask, I had a quick question for you. Is uh, So let's say everything comes to making money and, you know, taking these cool tools from the uh, LTD industry into the real life, you know, businesses and markets out there and making money with them. How can I make money with uh, backlink building for businesses? Like, like, do you have like backlink consultant thing or that, how does that work? Are there people who specialize in just building backlinks? Yeah. So, so there's a, there's a lot of facets to this, right? I, I want to I want to make it clear that you can use this. You can position this multiple ways. Yes. Um. So if you're if you're a consultant, um, or somebody offering this for uh, for your clients, you can see if they're looking for if they come to you and say, Hey, Abdul, I want backlinks. You can focus on that aspect and say, hey, yeah, we'll do outreach for backlinks. But somebody might come and say, you know, Abdul, I want exposure. I just want my brand to be out there. I want other industry, uh, people in my industry to know about it. I want blogs to write about me. I want blogs to mention me. How do, how do I get that? This tool will help you because like we showed in the campaigns, you can go find specific blogs that are writing about it. You can reach out to them. You can pitch to them and you can get these mentions in. The idea is to build relationships. So... In the future, um, you might have you might see something here where it says backlink opportunity finder, right? <laughs> you might have a list of journalists here. I'm not promising, but I'm giving you hints what's coming, right? So that works more like uh, uh, some other tools that I've seen before, um, like nin Ninja Outreach. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. I think you know. So everything that I didn't like about that tool, I'm fixed, and we're bringing it in here. Think of it that way. Um, and more robust. So right now what you get is a real time listing, right? And a lot of people can use that for current events. So for example, um, if you are in crisis management and something happened where um, some company, you know, you know, something happened with reputations or something, you can see real time results, reach out to those people and say, Hey, you know, I think you've got the wrong idea about so-and-so client or so-and-so make your story is not correct. I have credible evidence. And you can, you, you can reach out, you can put a, you know, campaign through, and um, reach out to them that way for your clients. Okay, I have a, sometimes when I look at the uh, opportunities that's around a tool or how can I pivot or do whatever with it, I look at um, um, to Upwork or Upworks or I go to you know Fiverr to see what opportunities are there. Is it okay if you actually look at Fiverr? This is just coming to my head. Uh, I was gonna do it myself, but I, you're sharing the screen, so you might as well do it. Fiverr.com, right? Yeah, and check if what people are doing to make money with backlinks from here, right? If we search, building backlinks or something like that. Yeah, let me see here. So let's, let's do let's do let's do outreach because I think that's that comes in. Ah, wow. link building service right here. Look how much. Look at this. Uh, it sells me to sign in. Look at look at the cost here. Three hundred and ninety five dollars. So, so what what is this guy doing for five links? He will get you five links. For three hundred ninety-five dollars, fifteen links for a thousand dollars. So, oh wow! <laughs> so look at how many orders are waiting in the queue right 25 now. Twenty-five orders. Yeah, and that's crazy. And seven six reviews right there. You know, in in our tool automates this for you. So that, that's something to think about. I want to see the description of what this guy is saying. Yeah, you know. Naturally weaved into existing content, age relevant posts, how it works. I go and find existing blog posts already indexed in Google, quote unquote, what we just showed you, all the blog posts indexed in Google. I reach out to the blog owner. I want to tell you the contact system that we get and get your link placed. What does that mean? He does a personalized outreach message like we just showed you, and they will go and edit this so it blends well. I'll find, you know, I'll do my best to find topically relevant sites. So how do you find topic we live in sites? Remember, guys, you yeah. use one of our campaigns that are either reviews, tools, resources. You put in your keyword to find exactly this. So uh -huh. tomorrow, somebody could just make up, make another Fiverr gig and start selling this. This is brilliant. Wow. And then he says uh, the, uh, the, the... Look at this. Yeah. The domain authority, page authority. Look, you can actually do the... To know these, remember, you can take that link, you can put it in, and we will show you the domain authority and page authority. That's amazing. That's amazing. And there's a lot of people doing this, actually. That's very interesting, right? There you go, you know? Now, I mean, no. reports. yes, you know, send detailed reports. So you'll be able to, right now, you can click an export, get a CSV, and give that as a report right away. Or they do follow links. Remember, we check, do follow, no follow, sponsored. So we do all of these things. All on automated, remember that.
So it's pretty, it's, I wouldn't say fully automated, it's semi-automated. You have to use your brilliance too, but the, you know, the tool really helps you save hours and hours and hours in doing exactly this. This is this is very good. That's very good opportunity. So when I yeah, this is that's my question was really good because when I uh, when I look at the tool, it's not about it doesn't matter how beautiful it, the UI looks, whatever it does, I don't care. I've, I care how can I make money with it? Does it make Definitely. sense? And that's all. And now you've shown us proof that you know with this one you could actually make. I can't imagine. We need to go and get this guy. And <laughs> hey, look at the, I, I'm shocked actually right now myself <laughs> you know, because. <laughs> Look! Look at this. He's charging a thousand dollars a month, basically. That's what it is, right? It's a thousand dollars for twenty-nine day delivery. What is his pa basic package? Can you check on that? Four hundred dollars. Whoa! That's the cheapest you get there, and twenty-five yeah. orders in queue right now. Which means okay. So, so think about this guy. Him right now, Jacob. Right? If he had the agency plan, he could support all twenty-five of these orders only for four ninety-nine one time because he could run twenty-five campaigns. That's big. Wow, 395 times just the number of orders waiting. I'm assuming all of them are basic. Is, uh, yeah, let's just say, let's assume that. Yeah, so 395 uh, times 25. That is going to be crazy. $9,875. In 29 days. Yes. Oh, my God. That's that's good money. That's good money. So, yeah, this is, uh, so I make, it makes sense. What you're doing now uh, is very clear to me before, a lot of people are asking, what does it do? How does it work? What's backlink? How is it different from, um, you know, whatever is out there? So now it's clear. It's not only just building the backlink, but it's all this, you know, connection of points from, you know, finding the links to reach out, campaigns, building them, sequences, uh, looking at the different data and dynamics connected to that uh, backlink. Very, very interesting tool. So that's amazing. There's another question, guys. Ask. We will, uh, let me see if there's any questions here. Yeah. So if you, I mean, this is already valuable, right? What's coming up is even more so. Perfect. Okay. Any other questions? Anything else? Any other questions, guys? Okay. I think that's that's about it. Uh, it's coming to 11.01. Exactly. Alrighty. One hour since we got started. And I think this was really, really helpful. If we uh, want to show, you know, more, you know, more details on this, we'll actually come back one more time, maybe, you know, uh, in a week or so. How? When? Last question. When does this deal end? When do you expect? To, is this yeah. like based on the number of sales that you want to get to? The, so, if, yeah. so l l l let me give you an example right now. If I click on agency, uh -huh. right, and it, it says, so if I click on solo, there's twelve hundred sixty-six remaining. Okay. Agency. Oh, there's only 37 agency remaining. Oh, 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 whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa! Going that that went so fast. That went very fast. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, yeah. I can't say if this goes out. I'm, I'm not gonna say no, but I don't know if I want to sell it again at 4.99, right? Right. Excellent. I'm not gonna make any comments, but I'm just saying that's that's going way too fast, which yeah. is great, but it, it might not be there for long. So I don't know how long that would take. Oh, there's also in real time what's left, what's missing. Oh, this is amazing. That's really good. That's yeah, this will show real time right away. Okay. And yeah, what about the business lifetime? You say this. Uh, so business lifetime is a good amount. It has 1266. So all these seem to have the same amount remaining. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So thank you so much for joining everybody. We really appreciate your time. Onais, thank you for uh, showing up. And we will uh, continue from there next next week or the week after, whatever. As long as you know we need you back, we'll bring you back one more time. Sounds perfect. Yeah, I would love to answer any questions, even if it's every week. By all means, you know. Okay. Thank you. thank you, everyone. Okay. Thank, thank you. Everyone.